What is going on guys welcome back in this video we're going to learn how to properly store manage and load api keys using python so let us get right into it all right so this is a quite foundational topic in a lot of my videos we use api keys or credentials to authenticate ourselves with the products and services that we want to use be that chat gpt be that a google product be that something like the open weather map API, we usually have to use something like an API key or something similar to that to authenticate ourselves so that the product or the service knows, okay, this is an actual account, uh, this is that person, and maybe they have a paid subscription. And usually you want to keep that key private or secret because if someone else gets the key, they can use your account. So the question is, of course, what's the best practice way or the professional way to manage to load and store these keys? And how can we do that in Python? And I wouldn't claim that this is now the only way to do it or necessarily the best way, but it's the most common and you could say the professional or best practice way to do it. And this is to use environment variables, either uh, system variables or with a dot n file. We're going to look at both um, options here. And the basic idea is I'm going to open up a new Python file here. The basic idea is that you have some code, um, some code, and then you want to log into your API. So you have, let me just turn off copilot so that it does not annoy us. We have some um, application, I don't know, app equals, or maybe, I don't know, some some client equals software client and then it takes an api key so that we can use it this could be chat gpt this could be something else and we have to pass an api key here and of course one way to do it is to just pass clear text so to just say um this is the api key use it but that's of course not professional this is not recommended the api key is visible in the code in clear text this is not professional also it's not usually um, usually you don't load this from a file so you don't just load this from a simple text file. You don't just say, okay, API key dot text, load the text from the file. What you do is you use environment variables. So either the system variables that are already there, or you can use a specific dot n file. So on windows, you can just go ahead and say something like uh, set X, and then you can choose a name, for example, secret API key. And then we can provide some value like this one here. In your case, of course, the API key that you want to store. And then what we can do in Python is we can say API key equals, for this we need to import the OS module, os.getenv, and then secret API key. Now, since I just set this key and PyCharm was started before, I would have to restart it uh, in order to be able to see that key, but I can just restart the terminal and then run the script from the terminal. And instead of doing this here, we're going to print the API key and we're going to navigate to the directory that I'm currently working in. And here I'm going to say Python main.py and you can see it gets this key from the environment variables. I think this would not work if I run it here just because I set it after I started PyCharm. Uh, so after a restart, it should work. Um, so this is how it works on Windows with the set X command on Linux. I also have an Ubuntu Windows subsystem for Linux here. Um, here we can just say once the terminal is loaded, there you go. We can say export and then secret API key equals and then something else here like this. Then we can move to the same directory and we can run the main py file and you can see that this is uh, this key here on Linux and if I run the same script again on Windows we still get the Windows key because it loads the Windows environment variables uh, and on Linux it loads the Linux environment variables. So that's one way to do it. The other way is to use .env file. So to just create a new file in here to call it .env and to then put something like secret, secret uh, API key and then we can just set this to something. Now, this works, of course, for multiple values. So we can also pass some other underscore key and maybe a third underscore key. And then we can set different values here. Maybe something like this and maybe something like ABC123. Um, and then we can load these 
environment variables from this file. So we can create the environment or we can load these values into the environment temporarily. So we can say here, and for this, we're going to need an external Python package to do that. We can load the dot end file and then we can still use OS dot get environment to get it from the same environment. So we can just go ahead now, we can open the command line and say pip install python dash dot env in my case already installed and once you have this package installed what you can do is you can go into your code and you can say from dot env import load dot env then you just call this function it's automatically going to load the dot env file um, and then in this case the interesting thing is now I have the secret API key in the file and I have the secret API key um, uh, outside of the file. Now, in this case, in PyCharm, it shows this immediately because it doesn't know the local API key. If I run this now in a command line where we had already the correct key, you can see that it still prints the system environment variable, not the environment variable that is inside of the file. If I always want to overwrite the environment variable that I have on the system, um, I can just, I think it's load.env and then overwrite equals true. Now, in this case, in PyCharm, nothing will change. But if I run this now in the command line, here you can see now, even though we have this here as a system value, we load the one from the file. So this one from the file overwrites the uh, system value, but not per uh, permanently, but just for this particular script. So if I run this again now, uh, without a keyword, we get the system one again. Um, same on Linux. So if I run this again here, we can see this one. If I say overwrite equals true, it's going to load the one from the file, as you can see here. So this is the best practice or the most common way to do it. Probably you can make it more secure if you just use encryption. Uh, another way that's popular, uh, not as common, uh, not as common as uh, loading from environment is to use config files. I have a video on that as well, how to use config parser in Python. Uh, but this is the best practice and the professional way to load your API keys into your Python scripts. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and 